What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just uh, got this. It's actually not mine. I'm borrowing it. My buddy Dave actually picked it up. It's an AOC USB monitor. I've always wanted to check one of these out. I've never really had a super, uh, you know, pressing need to have one of these. But you can get these on Amazon. That's where this one came from. And as you can see here, what we have is, I think it's about a 16-inch monitor. Comes covered with plastic here. So the piano black plastic bezel around it, which is all plastic, is in nice shape. You can see Energy Star right there. I also have a sticker up here. It's a very glossy screen, so it's not an anti-reflective. Uh, plastic on the back here too, and plastic here. What's really interesting about these is that they're good for a lot of things. They are also powered directly from the USB plug, and so there's no external power. So if you need a separate monitor, Instead of carrying around a monitor that needs a power cable, a uh, video cable, this is much, much smaller. I wouldn't call it iPad small, but I'd call it like laptop-like. And in fact, usually thinner. If this were a 17-inch laptop, it'd probably be about the same footprint, but it'd be uh, probably much thicker than this and probably not as light. Now on top of that, we get the monitor here, but as you might be able to see, we have a kickstand right on the back here. So this flips out and I can set this thing up vertically for reading or, you know, putting a bunch of these in a row, or I can use it horizontally for that more of that normal widescreen, about 16 by nine aspect ratio. This cable is just a USB cable. It's USB on both ends. And actually in this end, I've got a little pigtail here. And that's because if your USB port doesn't put out enough power, you can plug this into another free USB port and power it up. And what you might be able to see here is kind of in this recess where the kickstand falls in, we've got a USB plug right there. So I'm gonna take the single end and plug this in. And I don't have a laptop here with that kind of connection with a standard USB. So I've got my APLOM adapter here for USB-C. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my MacBook 12. I've got my Peter Von Pando webpage set up here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of hope here that this will work with this adapter. And if it doesn't, I'll plug in both USB plugs here to see if we can get it powered up. So it looks like we had enough power to get it flashing here, AOC logo. It's kind of blinking on me. I'm kind of thinking maybe we don't have enough power. So I'm gonna plug in this other USB plug here. And what you might be able to see here is nothing. And so with this adapter into my MacBook, my MacBook 12 inch here, doesn't seem to be enough power or not compatible here. All right, so I grabbed my Chromebook here. So I'm gonna plug it in here and see if we can get this sucker working. Seems to flash on. And there we go. I've actually got it working here and I didn't have to do anything, right? Um, you can see it's actually extended desktop. So if I click on my browser here, I can drag it. I will actually say that this screen looks better than this screen. Now I've got, a, I think an anti-reflective coating on this one or the anti-reflective, the, the matte finish on this one, but this looks pretty great. And I don't know if it'll auto discover orientation, but you could certainly put this vertically here and then, you know, read PDFs, those types of things. Obviously it works with this laptop. I'm putting out enough power with the USB-B port that's built into the laptop. So I don't think you're gonna have any problem with it on regular laptops with the USB port already on there or a desktop. I can see this thing actually being really useful for a second or even a third screen because it just uses the USB port. And here I can pull over documents, attachments, things like that, read them in the format that you're expected to be reading them in without having to print it out. So it actually could be a nice environmental saver for you for not printing a lot of stuff. I really like this. Uh, in fact, I would say that this is a really ideal screen size too, because you know, in terms of a piece of paper, right? If you were to print out a eight and a half by 11, that's what it would look like on here. So this is actually quite a bit longer. It's a little bit like a legal sheet of paper. Uh, I like the construction. It's all very plasticky, but seems to work really well. We have little rubber stops here on the edges for when it's horizontally uh, set up or 
the rubber stops here when it's vertically set up. So either way, I think this is a nice device and it was under a hundred bucks. So if you're looking to add a second monitor to your setup, this is one of the cheapest ways to go and certainly one of the easiest ways to go. I'm not even using the little pigtail here for extra power. Pretty awesome. I will put a link to this AOC monitor in the description below. Peter Bump hand out.